Hey guys, what's going on? Third Street Reactions here. We're back. I'm Shane. Zach. And you and I grew up watching, I think I've probably over my 30 years have seen every episode of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, but I haven't seen them all. I haven't. I saw it aired on network television. But you saw quite a bit to where you grew up liking. I saw enough every day to know that I liked it. Yeah. I was just like, uh, what was that? Family Matters? Family Matters. Uh, that, Family Matters, and The Cosby Show, which we won't talk about now, because <laughs> that is a shadow cast over it. What about Home Improvement? I've seen Home Improvement. I do love yeah. Home Improvement, yeah. too. Okay, so, yeah, that Same being said, one. yeah, I love all those shows. Will Smith has been wanting to do a new take on it for a while. He is really involved creatively, and he's producing this thing, and it is a drama instead of a comedy. I love the original. Sometimes I, I, I'm re-watching with my kids. It's a little flatter. And it's also because, like, you know, I've grown up and I've... Well, the humor was different then on Network Yeah, television. and I've said a lot it's of... It's like factor. A, you have, what's it called? Uh, like Saved by the Bell was the same era. Yeah, and I've all watched a little shit. bit of that. Like, all that shit was, it was... I get it now. It's, like, yeah. it's all flat, and I get it. Yeah, but some stuff is good, and some some of the emotional stuff... Like Family Matters, I love just the shit with Carl and his wife. Yeah. More than I, I, didn't, I never liked Urkel. Well, but I, Carl and his wife was like funny as hell to me. Yeah, because I grew up with older, like I had grandparents that basically took care of me, and I saw the older generations. Yeah, these older people fighting all the time. Yeah, and you're arguing. Just, you're sitting there drawing, <laughs> like, loving it. That's <laughs> why so I get it. So and that kid in the ring drawing a circle. <laughs> yes, but do you have a favorite moment from Fresh Prince of Bel Air that you remember? I mean, because I, I obviously love all the funny jokes that he when he's making fun of Uncle Phil. He's like, "Oh wait, what I did in high school, Vivian." And Will was like, if you add up all four years, I've always thought that was in his short jokes and, and his attitude, he's this rebel coming in. And, you know, you got uh, Jazz, he getting thrown out the door. The, no. ah! <laughs> Just well, funny. Well, the only, I don't know, when you bring it up, the main point of that series that stands out to me so much is when Carlton got on speed. That's a that's a that's one that's my second option right there. Yeah, I get that's the one episode where it stands out so much to me that I can't even think of any other ones. That, that's Other than when. Uncle Phil came to him and like I can't really what he said to him but he basically like talked about being a father yeah I, yeah, I think you're you're that I think that is my number one I think you're recalling yeah my one is when Will's dad his biological dad came back and then he starts to like he's going to leave he plans his trip and then he's going to leave without telling Will and fucking Uncle Phil says we'll get the hell out of here then you know and the Will comes out he's still I don't care you know then he starts bawling Fucking hold his Uncle Phil. Yeah. Like, Why doesn't he want me, man? Fucking, it's, yeah, it's a crazy thing. And for years, the urban legend was Uncle Will Smith's real dad. He had a bad relationship with him. So he was recalling the pain from that real memory to helping him with his acting. Mm -hmm. He's gone on the record. I don't know if it's true to say, hey, I got a good relationship with my dad. I was just acting. But that, what's great about that scene is I kept messing it up. And then Avery, was that his name? Avery Johnson or Avery, the guy who plays Uncle Phil? The, the guy who plays Uncle Phil, he just was coaching him up and then when he finally nails it when they hug he whispers he goes that's that's fucking acting or something like that <laughs> yeah. so let's watch it. go this time we're trying to make you forget who you are and where you came from don't let it do that damn Jeffrey Thompson house manager Will oh Bill. <laughs> Ten years is a long time. Let me show you around. Where them dimes at? Hillary. Her tits are hanging out. Well, let's go find you something fit for a friend. What do you think? I made you love. Yo, Uncle Phil. I'm glad you're safe. We'll talk later. Cause I love Yo. Is this really baby Ashley? You're a long way from home, Mom. Oh, too. How you been? <laughs> you know, thriving. <laughs> I hope uh, one day we can talk about why you're really here. Do you know why I'm here from Philly? Scrap on the bull court. Got nasty. Who threw that? Was it you? Now some bad man from Philly who want to deal with you. Why oh, move mountains? That's not good. <laughs> Pretty dark. Finish yeah. Story. Came to Bel Air for a better education. Simple. Be patient. Give this a real chance. We have a different set of rules here, okay? 
If you want to do well, just keep your head down and follow my lead. Oh, whoa, whoa. Man, you know I'm a rep West Philly wherever I go. Yo, King, what's up, man? No love. Look around. These are my people. What? From now on, steer clear. Welcome to Bel Air. What the hell is my life? Yo, chill out, bro. Maybe Will just isn't cut out for this. Why are we working so hard to save a boy who doesn't want to be saved? Because we all went to him. James Avery. A real man takes responsibility for his actions. A real man knows when to let go of his pride and make the most out of a second chance. Be the Will who charmed West Philly with his talent and swag. Let the music diffuse all attention. <laughs> There's no going back. That's our I, reaction. I, I think I could watch that and enjoy it. I do too. I, do. I, I can separate. Like this is a different show for different people with a different theme, different, different generation, different message. Yeah, yeah, and I, I get that. Yeah, and I, to me, it's like I'm not going to go out of my way to get Peacock because I'm I'm a cheap bastard yeah. these days. Yeah, but uh, I only have so much money to spend. <laughs> I get it. No, I get. Uh, it. But I, I do think though that if we reacted to the show, that I would enjoy it. No, yeah, and like uh, you know what's interesting to me is I felt like why am I forgetting his name? Oh, G. Uh, uh, they call him. The butler. What's his name again? Well, he always calls him Jeezy or whatever. But Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Yeah. Uh, he seemed like... He seemed like a more of like a... Like a mentor badass. Yeah, he did. Like a Mr. French. Yeah, he kind of also reminded me, like, in, you know in the Snyderverse, how... Um, the but made uh, Jeremy Irons. He, he, he's like a mentor guy as well. Yeah, he's not like the Michael Caine yeah. or like the other guy. Yeah, yeah. And he felt like, you know, it's obviously not trying to be the funny thing it was, and that's fine. I, I would actually rather be much different, personally. Well, it needs to be. I, it's like, uh, like, I'm going to keep going back, like Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Amazon's going to be starting up a new series that yeah. starts in the second age of Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Or, I'm sorry, the Silmarillion. It's more like the Silmarillion. The, okay. the Tolkienverse. Yeah. I'd be okay with them remaking Lord of the Rings in an episodic okay. television version. It'd probably benefit it more. It would. Because that was like six books, yeah, combined into three books. They're made into three movies that are basically like had enough time to make up one book. Yeah, if you consider the time and yeah. engagement. So, I'd be great if, if they. Those expanded. movies couldn't be any longer. And they not, could, not as movies. <clears throat> not as movies, especially expanded editions. Yeah, that's the only thing. Which is the only thing I've actually watched, and I love. I've watched both. Yeah, like this, like it. It can be something that's completely different than the source material, yeah. quote unquote. If they're getting the characters right, from what I can tell. Yeah. Like he's a rambunctious teen it, from it, a shitty neighborhood. Well, I, I dislike Carlton a lot in this, <laughs> but yeah. And he, the old one, he was like, there was a charm to him, and he was a, he was goofy. Well, and he stupid. was he was goofy and stupid, but he was good at what he did. He was kind of like the yeah the echelon of the, a, a, academic success. Yeah, this but guy he, he seems didn't like have, pretentious. What the, Carlton was supposed to be pretentious, but in a stupid, funny way. Yeah, and this it was is like a, a thing you can laugh asshole. off. But now he's like the pretentiousness that you actually see in this world. Yeah. So it's a lot more realistic. No, uh, it, I like that. Yeah. And uh, I like that Phil was like they're showing Phil question, like why are we even trying with him? Yeah, because and Van Vivian's like because we owe it to him. Yeah. And uh, so I respect that and I like it. Um, yeah, and uh, no, it just I can get behind it. I, I hope it's good. I, like I, why not? I, I hope it's good too. I hope it's not just about. I never. Things. I'm not one of those people who hope things fail. Like I want things to be good, especially if I watch them. I don't want to waste a minute of my life watching. Something well, it's something like. especially that's attached to my childhood. Like I didn't have access to a lot of television growing up, yeah. so I had, I had this, I had Family Matters, I had the Cosby Show, yeah, which is like, the name that should not be named, like Voldemort here, and uh, I had like Saved by the Bell, yeah, and I didn't like Simpsons too. Well, I had Simpsons sometimes at nights so when my parents would let me watch it. Yeah. So I didn't like Saved by the Bell a lot. I would watch it. Yeah. But I think that Family Matters and uh, Fresh Prince are yeah. probably up there a little bit more. Yeah. I like the trailer. So, uh, and I do love Will Smith. Most of the things I've seen him in, I've really liked. So let's hope it's good. Well, I wonder if he'll have a cameo. I don't know. Who'd it be?
I don't know. I feel like he'd have to like cameo as an asshole. I, I really that's a good question. I never even thought about him doing that because I just feel like he's producing and he wants to not put any of the same people in it. But I guess he could. Why not? Maybe. But I don't like he came out as Will Smith. Well, I guess he is Will Smith. I don't know. He came. Like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Either. Yeah. Uh, but that's it. All right. Thank you for tuning in. If you like what you saw here, please like and subscribe. Oh. You'll find us on Instagram and you'll find us on Twitter. We're not on Facebook yet, and we're nowhere else to be found. So. uh you know, if you stuck it out this long, you may as well. If you will, <laughs> then you will. <laughs>